three, two, one, zero. Mission. And lift off. Got Roaring off one of the most historic launch pads at the Kennedy Space Center, another SpaceX rocket headed for the space station. Hearing good calls of the first stage performance so far. Accelerating into the pre-dawn sky and making a beeline up the east coast. Copy to Alpha. Before first stage separation. Acquisition signal launch. On board the Dragon capsule, Commander Shane Kimbrough, veteran Japanese astronaut Akiko Hushide, European Space Agency astronaut Thomas Pesquet, and pilot Megan MacArthur sitting in the same seat in the same Dragon spaceship that her husband Bob Bankin flew in last May when she and their son watched from the ground. You're just really like your whole heart and soul is, is on that rocket watching the person you love launch into space. And I was just thinking about, I would be so happy to see his face um, when they reach orbit and, you know, we can see him and, and know that everything has gone well. Dragon and her crew scheduled to rendezvous with the ISS early Saturday. There is one small complication. When the Dragon space capsule arrives at the International Space Station with four astronauts on board, that brings to 11 the number of people on board the station. They've got three toilets for 11 people, but they don't have enough sleeping quarters. Acting NASA Administrator Steve Jersick says two astronauts will simply have to float sleep, their sleeping bags tied to a wall. station is the size of a football field, but the interior is more like a four or five bedroom house, but they do have that third dimension that they can pretty much sleep anywhere and just tether themselves. The tight quarters won't last long. The four astronauts who arrived at the station last November will return to Earth next week. Oh, this is the third crewed flight, the third crewed flight in a year. It's the first time that they have reused the rocket as well as the capsule. So this is all part of the Elon Musk vision of how to make all of this that much more cost effective, guys. Yeah, and by the way, SpaceX and Elon Musk just won a major contract to land astronauts on the moon. What can you tell us about that? Yeah. So this is all part of the Artemis program that NASA is running. And eventually they want to have NASA astronauts landing on the moon. And SpaceX has now landed that contract to put the lunar lander together to essentially come out of lunar orbit down to the surface of the moon. Now, that is probably not going to happen until beyond 2024. They've got to run some test flights. They've got to fly around the moon first. That's likely to happen in 2023 or so. So a, a crewed mission to the to the moon probably after that. But it will be the first uh, time that they put a woman on the planet, on the planet, on the surface of the moon in NASA history and the first return flight since 1972. Wow, Pretty real cool. cool. Tom, we know you've been up all night. Yes. Yeah, but excitement will power you through those dark hours. Pretty cool. Thank you, Tom. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.